AMD has finally revealed Radeon Vega. In this form, the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition Air and Liquid Cooled models. What we're looking at here is more along the lines of a professional grade graphics card. See, they are aiming this at data scientists and engineers and product designers. This new card will feature AMD's fastest graphics core to date, allowing users to take full advantage of high performance computing. AMD isn't focusing this particular product at any single market. In general, this card will fulfill the needs of a wide Wide range of consumers who want to be the first people to get their hands on professional grade Vega solutions as soon as they're available. So what we've got here is the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition packing in 64 compute units running at around 13 teraflops on single precision compute performance their half precision is around 25 teflops the pixel rate of 90 gigabits gigapixels per second we're looking at 16 gigs of high bandwidth cache that's 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory plus their high bandwidth cache system so allowing it to expand further and utilize even more memory resources from the rest of the system whether it be ssd space hard drive or even system memory and we're looking at a memory bandwidth of around 480 gigabytes per second so what does that translate to in terms of specification that breaks it down to 4096 stream processors that should be clocked beyond 1550 megahertz to deliver the 13 teraflops of fp32 precision as well as the 32 teflops of FP16 compute performance. Uh, there's also 16 gigabytes of HVM2 VRAM that comes in two stacks of 8 gigs per stack. And the interesting thing here is that the rated bandwidth of 480 gigabits per second is a little bit slower than the 512 of Fiji, which was on the Fury X that released back in 2015. And well, it's coming in late June. So in late June, the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition will be available. Again, they're doing two different models. We've got an air-cooled and a liquid-cooled model. And there was some mention of the SSG. And to be quite honest, there's a whole lot more going on here than we can cover in just a couple minutes in this video. So feel free to hit the links in the description below to get even more information on Radeon Vega and really why you should be excited for this and what it may mean for the graphics card or the gaming graphics card line since that's not coming till later so professional first they hit their mark of uh, first half of or q2 of 2017 but now we're waiting to see what happens with the gaming line so stay tuned we'll give you guys as much information as soon as we get it and this has been keith with wccf tech tv and we'll catch you all in the next video